Gearheads, Jeff with Gear Report. We're here at the NRA Show 2016. We're in the Look Go Arms booth where we're going to talk about the eight tracks. Uh, you know my fascination, um, passion for maybe the uh, bullpup format. Check this one out. Uh, you saw the video we put up yesterday. We're going to look at an AUG pretty soon from Steyr. This looks an awful lot like it. It's got some pretty neat differences, and uh, Josh is here to tell us what they are. So, thank you, sir. So, uh, the Australian military has been using the Steyr AUG under license for over 20 years. And about five years ago, they asked for two upgrades. Number one was to lighten it. Number two was to make it modular. So this rifle here is about 1.6 pounds light lighter than the Steyr AUG. Um, another really, really cool thing about this rifle is the fact that it will just balance just holding it like that. So the, 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 the center of gravity or the center of balance line is literally right here where your thumb is at. Makes shooting the rifle one-handed extremely uh, pleasurable. You can actually open doors, you, you know, do things with your yeah. off hand. And actually it's much more comfortable to actually keep your rifle up right. because it is so well balanced. You know, the, 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 the floor is very rear heavy, the AUG is very front heavy, and they can actually get very tiresome if you're holding it up for any extended amount of time. But just the fact that it's so balanced makes it a pleasure. Takedown is extremely simple, you just push this one button here, and the entire barrel housing group comes out just like that. And what that does is that on the AUG it's only a quick barrel change, but with this system, you can actually do a caliber conversion as well too, so that's actually the chamber right here. Um, so you can go from a 300 blackout to a 556 in about 10 seconds. And you don't lose your zero either because your, your optics are zero to your barrel housing group. So no matter how many times you change, it's always going to remain the same. And we're getting roughly about 6 inch groups at 600 meters with this rifle. So this one here is our 16 inch version. And then, let me grab this one here. This is our 20 inch version. Nice. So, it's four inches tall. The production versions will have uh, AR thread, um, half by 28. So you can put your favorite you know, muzzle device on it, suppress it. Right. We got different gas settings for running and suppress and unsuppress as well too. And final thing, well, a couple other things that I want to show you is the charging handle. Folds out of the way. It's actually nice. really nice to hold on to that when you shoot. And it said the angle is actually improved over the AUG as well too. So no matter what optics you have, you don't have any issues charging your weapon. Uh, Picatinny rail on the bottom as well as the 9 o'clock. <clears throat> And the trigger has also been improved as well too, so if you, if you, if you see here, break, and I'll let you feel that trigger. No, you already read. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, fairly smooth, kind of light. I like it. Not so light that it would be dangerous, but yeah, good. So this is what it is, and uh, hopefully we'll get one uh, to these guys for some review. Yeah, we'll love to give it a workout. And, uh, and what we're going to do, we're going to try to schedule this. we got the AUG coming from Steyr here shortly. Uh, once we're done with that, we'll work this in, so then we'll have a good comparison. And, uh, you know, time will tell. We'll see what, uh, we always tell you the truth, what we, what we like, what we don't like. I have a feeling we're going to like this one, so stay tuned. Uh, please follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We're at Lithgow Arms USA.